communications student. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hello, Maria Agustina. You're also one of the youngest girls here. You're only 19 years yes, old. Yes, I am one of the youngest girls here, but that how that I developed my message, I developed myself in a correct way. <laughs> Yes, we really admire you for that because at 19, you traveled the longest. Yes. How many I'm hours? Sure I have done in my life. I am from Japan. I am so happy to represent my country, Argentina. It is a beautiful country that has a lot of things to offer to the rest of the countries. Yes. How many hours was this? How, how many hours? 12 hours of difference. <laughs> 12 hours, but the travel. Uh, the 22. 20. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot of hours. For a 19 year old, right? Yes. <laughs> so you are now a. I'm asking this question to all the students here, communications student. Yes. Um, it's the same question that I asked with a with, uh, previous contestant a while ago. How do you see yourself five years from now? In five years, I want to develop my communication skills because I have been working with children because I love children and I think that they are the future of our society. For this reason, I have worked with the four sustainable development goals that is called a quality education. And of course, a, I have created a project that is called A Child with Violence is Single Survival. And I have been working with that project that is about the empowerment and child abuse with children because it's so important that we take care of their mental health today so tomorrow we can take a better future for everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. Agustina, Galfred, like one more question. What is your favorite experience here in Japan so far? Definitely Kaya City has been one of the best travels I have in my life. Uh, I have known the, the Japanese culture through this experience, and I have lived the Japanese culture through this experience. And my favorite activity that was uh, the porcelain. <laughs> the porcelain that you play. I have done a good act. <laughs> Thank you, Maria Agustina Argentina. Welcome, Miss Bolivia, Camila Rivera Roja, 26 years old. A commercial engineer, um, particularly in business. Can you please move a little bit forward, Miss uh, Bolivia? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. A while ago. Like, move a little bit back. <laughs> Thank you, Camila. Camila, you are a commercial engineer. Exactly what do you do professionally? Konnichiwa. I'm so grateful for being here. Well, professionally, I think it's a career that helps you to analyze people, the market. You can use this career as a business and as for people. And I do a lot of social work, so this career helped me to analyze how people act, why they act this way. And I can put my creativity in it, and I love it because that's what you can share with the world. Yeah, you are a commercial engineer, but at the same time, you venture into beauty pageant. What made you decide to join beauty pageant? Well, I, I'm i glad you asked that because I feel that God somehow had a purpose for me here in Japan. I came looking for my ikigai because I have a social project called Yo Soy Bolivia, which where I want to help people to find their purpose in life because I am a firm believer that God sent us to this world with a reason. And I want people to join me in this journey because you can't imagine how many things I discovered here in Japan. And I'm not the same person that when I got here first. So I want to thank this international for this opportunity in Japan for everything, every single thing that they have taught me. Thank you very much. So, um, one more thing um, about uh, you in Yusoy Bolivia, the organization that you've been working, you're probably the leader there in your organization. 
What do you think is the biggest value that you hold as a leader or as a woman leader? I believe that my principal value is loyalty. I thought the, the first of all, it was loyalty with people, but it starts being loyal to yourself. And when you're loyal to yourself and when you have that confidence and love, you can teach and help others to have it too. So that's the most important for me and it starts there so you can guide and help others. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Bolivia. That's Camila. I am a We have a huge fan base here for Camila. Now let's go on with Miss Paraguay, Jimena Sosa. Jimena Sosa is 24 years old and a civil servant. Miss Paraguay, Jimena Sosa. Being a civil servant, um, exactly which branch or which government office are you working? Yeah, Ohio Senat. I'm very happy to be here. I'm a civil servant. Work in uh, inclusion with people with disabilities, and it's a very special work because the values is the most important in our lives. So what value do you hold the most as a, a government worker? Respect, tolerance, and love. When we love ourselves, we can make it all possible. We can make it real. All things we are proposed. We can transform the world. We, when we real confidence, ourselves. Yes, it's a really very, very important. Um, we do understand that you're only 24 years old, very, very young. So, so far, what has been the biggest challenges that you have faced? Can you repeat more slowly, please? Of course, yeah, sure. Uh, my pleasure. What is the biggest challenge that you have faced in your life? I think that I need to make it all just alone. Mm -hmm. I don't have more possibilities and I just believe in myself and this is for me the biggest biggest thing that I face. I need trust in myself. I need I need big confidence <laughs> to make it real all my dream. I'm still here, living my dream. I don't speak English very well. It's very difficult for me because I'm so in, in, interesting person. <laughs> but I'm still here, believe in myself. I show us all of me with, with a smile, with, with all of my heart. No, of course, we're very proud to have you. And you know, it's not about how good you are in speaking English, but it's your heart that glows. And you have seen, shown, this, shown that to everyone. Congratulations and well, well done. Jimena, Miss Paraguay. By the way, lovely dress you're wearing. Miss Peru, Sofia Cajo, 26 years old. She works as a manager. She really does look like a man manager in here, actually, Sofia. Hello. Konnichiwa, watashiwa Sofia Cajo. Nisei, mi yuyone, kogusai, Miss Peru des. Am I so happy to be here? I, I want to see you, to say, to tell you, thank you for your time today. Sophia, you work as a manager. You are a manager of what kind of business? Uh, I'm here. Actually, I'm here. One more, please. Here, I'm here. I'm over oh. here. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Yes. Well, what kind of business are you working as a manager? Well, I have a company, a import company. Now we are trying to 
get the license to import a product from Korea. It's for Hanover and it is with um, natural ingredients. So we are trying to import this product to my country. Oh wow, importing. Yes. In per from Peru. Like. I, I, I can uh, tell you an experience because uh -huh. I always be an entrepreneur and I remember when I sell bread with chicken in the high school and in the university and now look at me, I am in Japan, represent my country, my people and my soul. <laughs> it's wonderful, you know, it's, you started young being an entrepreneur. Yes. Well, same with me, I was selling candies when I was in elementary school. And here I am as well in Japan. But Miss Peru, I just wanted to know more about you. What exactly can, can Peru offer to the rest of the world? Well, my country is very known about the food. We have the most delicious food in the world. We have a lot of awards about it. And I invite you to my country to know it. Because we have a lot of places, delicious food, and incredible people that we can enjoy, we can help you to enjoy each moment in my country. You need to come to Peru. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. One word, just one, one word. Define a leader in one word. Perseverance. Perseverance. And inspire. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Stewart. It's yeah, now we have next Miss Costa Rica, Busan Sandoval, 27 years old. She's an industrial engineer, a production programmer, and data analyst. Wow. Hi, Tombangwa. What is your name? I'm Sandet. Utsukushi Kuni, Costa Rica. Yeah, very good. It's a very beautiful country indeed, Sun. You are an industrial engineer. Yeah. You are the only industrial engineer here in this competition. Last year we had many. What do you do exactly as an industrial engineer? Okay, my profession I represent my personality. I have to explain in my professional is the word that we need is taragai, the value of doing and working. Representing Costa Rica in Japan is not only a personal dream, it's a professional dream. Japan is first the country in the industrial engineering. Yes, it is really a leader in industrial engineering and you want to apply it in your own country. So uh, now, why did you decide to become an industrial engineer? What is your question? Sorry. What? Yeah, it's okay. Why did you decide to pursue industrial engineers? Is this plan and competition? Is that industrial engineer? And uh, do you believe that education is important to to improve the status of uh, women and to encourage them to be? In the, in the engineering uh, industry? Yes, it's a very important in Costa Rica if the woman No, uh, I don't know if a student industrial engineer. It's very, woman, people want is the very big in industrial engineer. Oh, you have many women becoming industrial engineers in your country, Costa Rica? Yes. Oh, well, that's yes. very admirable. In my family, it's the first Wow, congratulations for that one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job. Good job, Jusan. That's against Costa Rica. Now let's go next to Miss Nicaragua, Mariela Ceros. Or Maria Mariela Ceros. She's 25 years old and she's also an entrepreneur. And 
as well create different contests for brands and understanding. And I am the entrepreneur. I sell exporting clothes that I'm about to crossing all online in my country. So I really enjoy my job. It's part of my life. Okay, now let's talk a little bit lightly about you because you have a very unique hair and we are very happy that you are sporting the natural curly hair yeah. that you have. Thank you so much. It looks beautiful on you, by the way. Yes. Um, so now, since we are here in the professional university of business and wellness, we want to know your secret. How do you take care of your hair, that beautiful hair? Oh, honestly, can you believe what I do? Uh, a couple days for the most in my curly. I have a different strategy because it's a little bit difficult. My technical is very advanced, but I, I want to show you my secret. It's top secret. <laughs> I use a beer. Beer? <laughs> beer, yes. I wash my hair in a beer a couple days, days and the months. It's a different, I also use a different product, but it's a, it's a legendary strategy that my grandmother shared with, so I use something. Oh, so this has been a genetic thing for you. Your grandmother has curly hair, you have curly hair, and then you have this secret. It's very beautiful. We are now let's go to the serious one because you know we will not end here without a serious question. So um, in Nicaragua right now, uh, we would like to know the status of women leaders in your country. What has been the status of women leadership in Nicaragua? Of women leadership. Oh, okay. Honestly, my country continues growing in different aspects. Now, okay, I have uh, Miss Universe, it's my friends very close. And also, it's a, a very grateful woman. She is great for leadership, entrepreneur, resilience. It is very inspirational for in my country and in my life too because I see when I was a very grateful sharing with this inspiration with many women in my country. So I'm very grateful now for being a part of this inspirational woman on leadership in my life because I am part of the generation, Generation C. So in that moment, social media, we can express our ideas, idiosyncrasy, and value. So it's a good format to use the very loving platform. So I'm very love my job. I already love my career in degree marketing and I convinced everything of my aspect that I really like to develop myself for include uh, different years around the world and in my country too because I love uh, this platform for more different values that I very comfort that I feel good and with myself. Good job, thank you very much. Mariana. Thanks, Nicaragua. Now we have Miss Colombia, Juanita Uriya Posada. She's 24 years old. I beg your pardon. She's Miss Costa Rica is not the only industrial engineer here, but we also have Miss Colombia, another industrial engineer. This seems to be a popular career in Latin America, but you're also a part-time model. So Juanita. Why, the same question that I asked with Miss Costa Rica, why did you try to pursue industrial engineering? Konnichiwa and good afternoon, thank you for being here. Um, the reason why I decided to study industrial engineering is because one of my biggest dreams is to become a CEO of a building multinational. And in my, in my country, as Stephen says, it's a really famous uh, career because it's focused on the business. So I thought that it was the best decision for me to achieve this goal. Yes, well, it's, uh, it's great that you are here as well, representing your country in this international. You belong in an organization that has been has a very long history in pageantry, 90 years celebrating right now. You have any message to the people of Colombia because I think your your final gala is also happening soon for Senorita Colombia. Yes, Stephen, I'm really excited because the final night is going to be tomorrow. And um, this beauty pageant is really emblematic in my country because it's also one of the biggest um, Things that pursue is the social work. 
So it's really important because it impacts uh, many, um, how do you say, um, cities and many, many, um, sorry, communities in the world. So it works really hard for that, and I feel really proud about that. So what, what sort of community work have you done as the Miss International Colombia? Well, I used to be an education ambassador because this calls really moved me because I think that education is the powerful uh, arm that can change our society in many ways. And my country, for example, has a big problematic about education because um, we have like a big inequality in the access for this. So when I work with the education department in my country, I work for give a message to different communities, special kids and young people to tell them how important education is. Thank you very much, Miss Colombia Juanita Rodriguez Posada. And then we have our neighboring country of Colombia, Miss Panama, Lilia Ashley Barrera, 24 years old. And a, she is an aspiring doctor, medical student. Yes. So why, why did you decide to, be, to pursue this study, to become a doctor? Well, for me, it's really impor important and I feel it full my heart to save lives and help others with my profession. But also I have learned that not just by my profession, I can, I can help others, but with my actions and the path I live. Thank you. And uh, what sort of social work have you done so far, especially being a medical doctor, uh, aspiring that you are? Well, I complement my profession with my social platform that I created almost three years ago. That is called La Cara Bonita de Mi Panama. In English, is the beautiful face of my Panama, in which I give tools to women and empower them. Because I truly believe that it's not about just like being a, an inspiration, but as I said, be it, like I, I want to be like with my path that I live, so we have a better world. And yes. Yeah. Oh. On one semi-serious, a little bit serious note, actually, um, since you are an aspiring doctor yourself. Yes. Well, um, soon. I'm, I'm going to be soon. Soon. <laughs> you're going to be a doctor soon. Very, very soon. Um, what is your health secret? My top secret? Health. Health, health secret. secret. Well, we have to drink a lot of water. You know, I also drink like a tub of water with vinegar, and that's really good. <laughs> I do that as well, yes. a little bit of it, early in the morning, right? Yes, 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 before eating, yes. Yes, and then now, finally, what has been the biggest lesson you learned while being here in Japan? Well, I think we all have to learn a lot from your culture, uh, for Latin Americans also. I think, okay. yes. Okay, for Latin Americans also, <laughs> like, how you respect time. And also, one of the most, like, cheerful things that I, take from this experience is like the bond we have created with all the girls and that's the most important and the thing that I will cherish my whole life, yes. Thank you very much, Miss Panama Lilia Mashby. Now let's go to the next, Miss Guatemala Helen Morales. She's 27 years old. Hotel Sales Advisor. Hello, Helen. Hi. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Lighter question first. How has your experience in Japan so far? Oh, uh, the experience in Japan is um, great. Uh, I'm surprised for the people in Japan. Um, other people um, I saw, um, I love watch, uh, the, the people's, um, are, are so, um, sorry, uh, so muy, uh, muy atentos? Attentive. Attentive. Yeah. Yes, um, it's the experience for me, it's, uh, the better. Okay, now, 
Uh, let's go to your career as a sales advisor. Just want to know, um, what do you want, aside from uh, with this career that you have, how do you see yourself in the future? Um, I want to be um, uh, an inspiring voice in a face that represents um, not only external beauty, but also the beauty dinner that recycles in kindness, uh, empathy, um, and the struggles for a better world. Um, today, being here as a candidate for Miss International, I feel that this platform offers a unique opportunity um, uh, the, to, print, to print that dream to reality in the present and uh, in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Helen Morales from Guatemala. Thank you very much. Now we have here Miss Mexico, 26 year old Valeria Villanueva. Yeah. Hello, um, a little bit back. Well, back. Where are you? I'm here. I'm here, <laughs> Valeria. A little bit oh, back. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. More, a little bit more. Yes. <laughs> She's the good maker here in Miss International, actually. We love you, Valeria. Yeah, now you're acting. What has been like what has been the most challenging acting job you've done so far? Um, I love theater, so like play. Um I think being the villain because um I consider myself a happy person and I'm really vulnerable, but that's my strength. So being a villain is really hard for me. But um, I learned to not judge my character. So um, for me, my career is so beautiful because you learn to not judge any other people because you put yourself into someone else's shoes. Yes, so um, I, I heard that you actually had a very difficult teenage years. Can you please share to us about that? Of course. Um, I went through anxiety and depression when I was really young, I went through a trauma, and it was really hard for me to talk about it. That's why I created my social project, in case of emergency, break the glass. Because for me, it was like to be behind a glass. I couldn't speak, I couldn't say anything about it, because for me, I wasn't perfect. And it was really important to be perfect, which it's not right now. But at that point, it was. Um, but the time I decided to scream and say what I was feeling, um, I went to a therapist, I went to a psychiatrist, and that was the best thing I could ever do. But after that, I promised to God that I will do something for the ones that felt the same as me. So that's why I go to elementary schools and high schools and talk about what I'm feeling and about what I went through and how I overcome everything. So, what do you think, how important is mental health? Oh, it's the most important thing, because how, how you're feeling inside, it's going to show outside. So, it's really important to take care of your mental health, of your thoughts, and the most amazing person in the world, or yourself, it has to be you. It has to be your mind, it has to be your heart. And I do agree with that one. Thank you very much, Valeria. Thank you. Venezuela. That's right. 
it's not usual to see a woman facing this challenge, a uh, woman that wants to be part of beauty pageantry. As I was younger, I wanted to be useful for my society. That's why I decided to study medicine. But right now, you might think that being a doctor is not that similar from beauty pageantry, but it is because you're going to help a lot of people. You're going to inspire others. And I truly think that that's my purpose in life. Yes, and you can you please share to us about the social project, project that you have done so far? That's right, Limitless Health is my project right now. It is about the things that I was working before in my country, visiting a vulnerable community, uh, public hospitals, schools, giving people the knowledge about medicine. The fact that being a healthy person is being a powerful person too. That's what I wanted to share to people in the world, and that's what I have been doing in my country, and uh, what I want to do in the rest of the world, of course, with the Miss International Organization, I think that it will be possible. Okay, now, finally, share us three important qualities of being Miss International. For me, three important qualities of being Miss International, a woman and a human being, is of course to love everyone, to respect everyone, and to think about the others. That's what made me become a doctor, and that's what made me be a beauty queen. That's the real crown. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sakura Guerrero, Miss Venezuela. Okay, let's have a rest a little bit, you know, because uh, it's going to get tense and tense. Okay, maybe we'll be back here at 3.30. 3.30, okay? We will start at 3.30. We will start at a stressy media.